for being what you are, of good character and literally good people. Thank you very much. If I could take up about two minutes of your time, I want to tell you a little story. I grew up in the state of Wisconsin, and back in the early 50s, my daddy bought me a little transistor radio, and I used to listen to the Milwaukee Braves play every time they had a game. And I still remember every player it played, what position that they played. I still remember that to this day. Well, anyways, my, my goal in life was to be a baseball player. That's all I wanted to do is be a baseball player. And I wanted to take that center field job away from Billy Bruton for the Milwaukee Brewers. Anyways, I played high school baseball. I played American Legion baseball. And my town in Wisconsin, Menasha, had a semi-pro team. So I played with a semi-pro team also. And I had gone to, I am like 18 or 19 years old, I had gone to two tryout camps just hoping, hoping that somebody would see me and see the talent I have. So anyways, 1965, it was about April, and I told my mother, Mom, if I get, open up all my mail. The baseball draft was coming out, and open up all my mail and let me know. So I got home from work one day. I worked in the mail, got off 11-7 ship. I uh, went to bed. About 9 o'clock in the morning, my mom wakes me up, and she said, hey, You've been drafted. I said, you're kidding me. By who? She said, the Army. <laughs> I told my mom, Mom, the Army don't throw baseballs. They throw hand grenades. And I went back to sleep. Thank you. <laughs>